Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the REC Podcast, brought to you by the REC Toycast. I'm your host, Roman Chavez, and with me as always... Eric Icarus. Eric. What's up? You can find us on the gram at REC Podcast. You can follow myself at Roman REC Podcast, and you can follow yourself. Gulag underscore J underscore Wilden. Nice. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming in here high. We are, dude. High on life. High on life. Uh, we just had our charity auction done um, over at Sales to Astonish on Instagram. And our boy Dusty, mm-hmm. he hooked it up. He did. He did such a good job. We we donated comics. And uh, we were just trying to get to 100 subscribers yes. on YouTube. And we, we beat that it. mark. We did um, it. I'm so excited. And because of that, we are taking care of the shipping. So yeah. the guys are just paying for their comics. And yes. we are, we are uh, uh, taking care of the shipping. So yes, we are. So thank you to everybody who participated in the auction. We really appreciate it. Um, and those proceeds, all of it, are going to go to St. Jude's. Um, and Smile Train. And Smile Train. They're going to be split between the two. So, uh, And it's going to be something yes. about uh, about $1,300 in sales. That's amazing. So uh, I'm, I'm very, very pleased. Yeah, and I'm glad that we could do some good and, and get a little goodwill our way as that's well. Right. So, um, Oh, heroes wear capes. Yeah, man. Hey, it's you true. know what? It's true statement. This is, a, this is a small thing that we can do, and I'm that's glad. Right. And it didn't even, I, I, I told Dusty he could keep all the money. Right. You know, when, mm-hmm. I, when I came to him with his offer, because I, I, I fell in love with his auctions, yeah, totally. um, he and I had this... This uh, fun back and forth, uh, buying stuff uh, from out from under each other on Instagram. Um, he mentions it a lot in his does, uh, yeah, in yeah. his auction. How I would uh, I would snipe him quite often. He sniped me a couple yeah, of times sure. too, you know. Yeah, yeah. And and I feel like his stung me more than I stung him. Yeah, but sure. uh, yeah, he would often message me and be like, "Dude, do you even work?" <laughs> <laughs> I think it was pretty obvious that I wasn't okay. Um, but yeah, uh, he's a really good guy. And like I said, guys, I told him he could just keep all the money. I was like, Oh, this is, we're paying you to help us advertise. And, uh, and he was like, you know, I'm not, he he was just cool about it. He's like, I'm not comfortable about it. So I told him, I said, uh, well, I've seen you donate in the past. If you want to donate to smile train, I was like, I'm into St. Jude's. And he was like, yeah, let's just do both. So, um, it was really cool to have two guys who had this kind of friendly competition, uh, get together and do some good. For sure. So, like super the fun. Beatles and the Rolling Stones getting together for charity. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Who would you be? Uh, I'm more of a Beatles fan. Yeah, but I say, he's Stones more Rolling fan. Stones. Yeah. He's more rock and roll. Yeah, he's more rock and roll. And, uh, <laughs> I'm Strawberry Fields Forever. <laughs> <laughs> I actually hate that song for the Beatles. It is not one of their better ones. Uh, yeah, not, not my fan. But uh, I went on a road trip with my dad to New Mexico. We had a, uh, one of my great grandparents passed away mm-hmm. uh, in high school. And... Um, it was like when MP3s were like getting big. Oh, totally, and, yeah. And you already know where this is going. Oh, yeah, My dad's yeah, yeah. a ridiculous man. Um, <laughs> and he, so he put like an MP3 player like in his car. And, yeah. Like, and I'm not talking about... A Bluetooth. No. Yeah. No, no, yeah. Or I'm not an iPod. Bluetooth. I'm not, not definitely. I'm talking about MP3 CDs. Yeah. So he was like, Roman, I could put like 125 songs in there. And my dad was huge into, into getting uh, music illegally, allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly off the internet at yes. the time. And... Uh, Dude, like we're road tripping down there and he had like, he found all these unreleased Strawberry Fields Forever versions by really? the Beatles. These, all these studio versions and they were all garbage and like, but we listened to like a hundred of them. It was terrible. It was all that, these different that, takes. I, uh... I can see why you'd hate that. Yeah, it was it was so terrible. Is that why you hate the song? Yes, completely. Okay. Yeah, 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 it killed it killed the the radio version for me. It's just yeah, I, I don't need it. I you know, need it. it's kind of ties into what we're going to be getting into. Yeah. You know, just other versions of things that are not good. Yes, yes. Before we get into our big news of the week, the the the, the nugget that is this this week's episode. Did you catch the tra- the trailer for uh, Enola Holmes? Yes, um, I sent it to you. You did. But, I did I watch it. Okay. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I, I'm excited. It's, you are. You know, it's cool. We're getting trailers again. Yeah. You know, this is like we yeah. got a lot of trailers. Yeah, this week. it felt things felt kind of normal this they, week. They felt a little, a little normal. Bit, I went know? back to work. Yeah, trailers you know? on the yeah, on the, yeah. On the internet. Um, your crippling loneliness. Yeah, like, it's still just like going. Still, still going, going. You know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, this <laughs> Enola Holmes thing is a uh, kind of a. There's always like a, a talk of like a, a home sister, mm-hmm. but I, I've heard like Eunice and, and Eustace and, and whatever. There's there's these different versions. The Holmes girls. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if uh, if it's actual uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle like fodder. Sure. But uh, you know, just with the climate of things and especially the the tides, it, it is time to have a female Holmes. And I like how they're doing this, where she's kind of the ex- even she's also eccentric little sister of, of Mycroft and, and Sherlock. And Sherlock is by Henry Cavill, who is like how. 
adorable can this guy be? You know, this is like the first time we're having like an adorable Sherlock Holmes. I oh, think. totally not and, the uh, um, borderline autistic, uh, yeah, crazy yeah. person. Yeah, like this yeah. guy. This guy's like smooth. You know, yeah, it totally. seems he's more James um, Bond than James Gandolfini. Oh, weird. I mean, because the joke doesn't make sense at all. It's it doesn't. A, it doesn't make any sense. It but both of our stupid minds went there. All cool. right. Okay. Cool. Well, you guys, that's why we're besties. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Huh, that's funny. Do we do we touch? Do we touch? Yeah, tips? Right, we touch there tips we go. There. We did that for you guys. All right. <laughs> um, but no, it's yeah, it's going to be at a street to Netflix with Miley Bobby Brown of um, Stranger Things fame. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and Godzilla. You know, she she was in that in that newest Godzilla movie. Uh, the good one. I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Um, but yeah, I, I think it looks really fun. Yeah. Um, and again, like I'm all about girl power, so let's mm-hmm. do this thing. Yeah. Uh, done well. Yeah, yeah. First. Done done well, and and it looked fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how I just see, yeah. see movies. If Helena Bonham Carter. Uh, yeah, girl. that's my girl right yeah. there. Hey. Yeah. There oh, she's go. with Tim Burton. I don't. I don't think anymore. Oh, I don't hey. think so. But I'm not sure. You're into eccentric skinny dudes. <laughs> yeah. With weird hair. Um, I don't think you know what you look like. Uh, there's bomb dude status over here, not eccentric skinny dude status, all right? I'm like the Andrew Garfield. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a total nerd. Yeah, guys, look at, look at, look at how brooding I am. Yeah. Did you guys, did you guys hear that new album that nobody else has heard? I got it on vinyl. Jesus. But Enola Holmes uh, yes, seems pretty great. cool. Um, and I'm down for, I just like a good mystery. Yeah, yeah this me too. Like it's going to be a fun, it's going to be yeah. a, a, a fun yeah, mystery. Yeah, I'm stoked for it too. Uh, the beef, the Where's beef the of beef? the week, uh, was fandom happened, <gasps> you know, in the wake of the, the over 600 people being laid off, yep. um, DC still said, Hey guys, we're still going to come out. We're still going to come to the dance. Yes. Uh, we said, we said we were going to bring a uh, job ja rule to prom <laughs> and, uh, you know, the kids, remember the kids like jaw rule <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and it's not happening. So, yeah. uh, but they still showed up to the prom anyway and Dang it! If they didn't bring some good stuff, you know what? They, they didn't. You know, they brought their cousin, but we don't know it's their cousin. Right? Okay. Right, right, right. Hot cousin. Okay. Exactly. Hot cousin here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, you know, DC on the ropes for a while. Mm-hmm. DC's and been on the ropes. I feel for a like while. they're 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 still on their feet and swinging right now. Yeah. They got a couple good swings in here. Yeah. Man. I'm excited for them. Yeah. Don't mess it up. So here's where we're gonna start. I've kind of I've got a show breakdown. I'm okay. Um, Eric doesn't really do any video games. I do a little. And I just really dabble. We've got two video game trailers that I want you to watch. Okay. Uh, because they're just beautiful. And um, they set up some interesting stuff. And I'm screwing with some tech on my phone. So I'm just, this this helps me kind of work out some bugs. So if we have any skips, I apologize. But, uh, and we also can't show the images. So we will be putting up the REC logo. We will be watching the trailer for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Oh, hey, there we go. So Eric Wait a minute, I thought Zack Snyder did that. <laughs> he did not. <laughs> What happened? Oops. Yeah, I can see it just. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. All right. All right. So this is from Rocksteady. Rocksteady did those really awesome Arkham games. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So they're taking their their crack at uh, yeah a Suicide Squad version. Sweet. And yeah, guys, for copyright, it's not going to be great audio or anything, but this is going to be somewhat of our first reaction. Sure, Is sure. this going to be our first reaction yeah, video? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. I think okay. it is. Yeah, totally. All right. <laughs> if you want to pull one ear off, yeah, it'll help you. Got some Harley Quinn action. <laughs> Don't worry, boss. We got this. Hey, Boomer! Lay down the present fire! Keep it down, Hal. He's still ringing after that last body. <laughs> what is that? Australian for hangover? <laughs> I believe I can translate. Shark. Boomerang has a concussion. King Shark. From the enemy you missed in our oh, that's good. Encounter. Yeah, right? That's good. These cinematics yeah. are amazing. <laughs> Guess those teeth are sharper than your eyes, shark man. Kind of a, a, a Will Smith theme. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dead shot. Yeah, yeah, we bloody know. You never shut up about it. Alpha Target is in the open. Get your asses to the Metropolis Grand Hotel and engage. Before I have another reason to blow those bombs in your heads. Good music. Yeah. <laughs> 
I did my jam right here. Yeah. So we're seeing the Suicide Squad uh, getting tips from Waller, cues from Waller. They're yeah. fighting some aliens, it looks like. Um, in the beginning of the trailer, we saw uh, what looked to be Brainiac ship. Yes. So we've uh, got... Sorry, I guess I should be describing I'll this be already this the is the first for us. look better than the movie. Yes. So we've got Boomer, Deadshot, uh, Harley King Quinn, Shark. King Shark, and who else? Oh, well, I forgot how much I love that guy. I got... Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think it's just the four, dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's all we need. Smooth. I think it lends itself then to be a multiplayer well, game, which yeah. is which is the next evolution. Totally. It's what we wanted in all of those Batman yeah. Arkham games. Yeah. They did a little bit of multiplayer with Catwoman in in the last one, but right. it, it wasn't it wasn't what we wanted. Right. You wanted as well. Oh, yeah, Nightwing. yeah, Nightwing or Robin. So they're they're wondering what their alpha target is. And hey, Superman's here to save us. Look, it's Superman. The mighty Superman has just rescued that pilot. <laughs> Superman's not, not too happy. He's not feeling very well today. Ooh. Turn this dude to ash with his heat vision. Sorry, guys, we do have the RAC logo covering the TV. Copyright, Son, copyright. Figure out who we're killing yet? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Suicide Squad, kill the Justice League. What do you think, bro? Uh, I am... <laughs> it's like a better thing than the film. It is. Then, like, oh my god. I mean, it's it's so I, upsetting. And it's I don't, so upsetting. Here's the thing. I don't play video games. Go ahead and rap because i got to set up the second Okay, one. sounds good. I don't play video games, but yeah. let me tell you something. When Gods Among Us came out, mm -hmm. I literally spent two hours and watched all the cutscenes. Oh yeah, the cinematics I, I'm in love with video game cutscenes. I will binge video game cutscenes. I did it all for the Arkham games. Yeah. Um, I did it for um, Injustice, both Injustice ones. Um... Yeah, I, 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 they, they lend themselves to be pretty decent movies, honestly. Um, I could see maybe why people like playing video games like these. I mean, I had fun playing some of those Marvel ones with you. You know, those, those were fun. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you know what? I will enjoy watching the cutscenes on YouTube. Yes, and, and and that's what's so cool about it is that you can watch gameplay. You can watch, you can watch um, cutscenes. Uh, you can watch the cutscenes and and still enjoy the game without having to play it. Sure. Um, the uh, yeah, it's 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 like in the feel of what they were trying to do for the movie, right. but it seems like they can get away with a little bit more. Yes. Um, and that's I mean yeah, that's what we want. And yeah. then kill the Justice League. It's mm -hmm. a provocative title. It is. We're gonna get. I mean, we're gonna get some cool action, and it's gonna be uh, definitely online co op. Right. I don't. Pl I have guys. Strap yourselves in. I have never played an online co op game. Um, I prefer couch co-op. I want to be in the room with somebody. I want to grab a leg when I'm when I'm mad or when I'm trying to mess with somebody. <laughs> and it's just it's old school. It's just yeah, completely totally. old school. I don't do anything. I've watched more gameplay uh, walkthroughs than I've actually like played. Oh, for gameplay. sure. Um, you like you like the um, uh, crap talk in the house. In the house. I want to not eat... over the web. Yeah, dude. Like I'm not a serious gamer. I want to eat wings. Yeah. I want to like I said. I want to I want to knock the controller out of my buddy's hand. <laughs> He you does know, that. Too, yeah, you know, way. and and I just want to have fun. I like the social yeah. aspect of it, and I get that you can be social online. Sure. But and I'm also worried that if I start, I'm never gonna stop. Yeah, you those know? Arkham games almost pulled you in, man. They do, well. I mean, I played all. I, I didn't finish Arkham Knight just because my first was born, yes. and it was like oh. I can't make time for this. Right, right. Sold my my Xbox One. Yeah, just I can see it of being it. A, a. This thing. is starting. To, this is starting, this is to, starting, switch, starting yeah. to kick it up for me. Okay, so, so where are we um, at now? So, so anyway, yeah, Suicide Squad looks great. Looks great, right? Yeah. yeah. It, it, it looks it is, amazing. I don't play the couch, but I will, I will watch the couch. If it's couch co-op, like if we, do you know what I mean when yeah, I say couch? Yeah, I'm going to sit next to yeah, each other. Yeah, if it's couch mm -hmm. co-op, uh, I'm getting it and we're playing it. Can we can we make it casting couch co-op? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so in it. I'm going to make you a star. <laughs> Um, so another video game trailer came out, okay. uh, that I believe was done by Warner Brothers Montreal. Mm -hmm. Um, so Canadian. Rocksteady did, uh, the Arkham, uh, Arkham Asylum, mm -hmm. 
Arkham City and Arkham Knight. Right, and there was another one, right? Between Arkham City and Arkham Knight, there was one done by WB Montreal, and okay. it's called Arkham Origins. It's, oh, that's right. It's basically the same game engine, so it plays very much the same sure. way. The graphics are different. It feels like it, it just feels like Earth Two of that. It, there you go. You know, yeah, just yeah, just yeah. another version of it. Super fun. It didn't get a lot of love, but it was excellent. Really, it had great Joker stuff, great Black Mask stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it, my, it that's was my boy. yes, it was really really yeah. good so yeah, black um, mask is one of my after you and my friend Haley explained me his origin yeah. i was like roman I, lo- I love this guy roman yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know, like, you know of course i get like, uh, my name's rarely used in in pop culture but when it is it's pretty uh, pretty it's amazing pretty awesome. yeah, yeah it's pretty, pretty awesome. amazing so there was another video game came, trailer that came out and i didn't know that i was ex- as excited i was going to be for this this is Gotham Knight. Yes. Still waiting for the police to confirm if there are any victims. This story is evolving rapidly. Please bear with us. We heard this really loud boom. There was smoke. Emergency services have confirmed that they've discovered a body buried in the wreckage. And again, blurring it out. Sorry, guys. So the trailer we are watching is for Gotham Knights. An yeah, to Warner Brothers, City Montreal. Montreal. We read. Oui, oui. <laughs> that billionaire philanthropist Bruce Wayne is. Oh. So there was a newscast saying that billionaire Bruce Wayne is dead. Oh, it's too bad. And somebody's getting a code black transmission on their cell phone. Look at that, dude. Wow, that, that looks amazing. Watching this. I'm dead. This is a cold black. Boy. Wow. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. We both know it won't take long for Gotham's criminals to realize that Batman is gone. Jeez. And you can't count on the GCPD. Never trusted us since Jim died. Yeah, this is yeah. Ooh, ooh. I'm leaving you the Belfry of Space of Operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. And YOLO. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> And thought about it. So cool. Like, it's showing oh, ba- Barbara, I, I would assume. Mm-hmm. She's got a police badge, but she's, she's suiting up. Red Hood, Nightwing, Robin. Look at this team. Oh, up. my God. And look at, again, four. We're setting up for another multiplayer yeah. game. You t- look me in the eyes right now and tell me we're not going to get a Suicide Squad and, and this crossover. They have you to. know, like, like some type amazing, of link. Dude. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Gotham gets wild when there's no Batman. Uh, yeah, dude. Wow. Cool Robin redesign. Is that we, weird Damien little yellow? I'm not sure. It looks like Damien. It looks more like Damien. Barbara. Yeah. And a cool, again, just really cool redesigns. I'm curious to know who did this. Yeah. You know, usually they'll they'll tap like an artist to like come up with a redesign. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Nightwing yeah. doing his thing. Nightwing dancing. <laughs> Nightwing doing his thing. Yeah. Oh, look at this red hood. Oh redesign. yeah, I love that's my it. man's. I love it. He'll kill you with style. Yeah, that's all I want. A little, you know, a little something for the effort. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, oh, that's cool, dude. This look, this is gameplay. Man. Yeah, dude. No, 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 that's, no, that's, 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 that's not. Sorry. That's gameplay. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. There's gameplay too. Wow, dude, it looks great. Yeah, you're gonna be able to do combos and, and stuff. Hell yeah. They did this series of games called X-Men Legends and Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I'm yeah, four I, played, player. I played that. Yeah, Ultimate Alliance so game. much fun. Yeah. Oh my god, that looked amazing. Barbara looks amazing in this. Look at this. Shut up. Okay. Um. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Quarter vowels action going on. Oh no. Oh, this is creepy. Not a whisper word is said. 
with all these, uh, like, frozen coffins in this cave. Is this... Step into the night. 2021. I... I uh, yeah. Yeah. I, um... We're gonna have to get a system, huh? I, I might have to get a uh, PlayStation Five, dude. Yeah. Just for, I, I was always in love with those Arkham games, but mashing fun, dude. Yeah. And this, and this, the te- I just love the detective mode. Yes. Because you I, again, a lot of the movies miss the detective aspect of Batman. <laughs> but the games get yeah. it right. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of really cool stuff to do in the games. Um, I specifically want to do those because you don't usually watch that type of stuff. Oh, so for I, sure. I really that was yeah, I'm blo- that. mind blown. I will yeah. play that one. Yeah. Because because I, I I'm a Red Hood fan. Red yeah. yeah. I got to do some Nightwing yeah. action. So well, now, come um, on, get Azrael in there, man. I, know, I need some Azrael right? love. But he was kind of having a renaissance this year. He was kind of well, not this bit. year. Like just in the, in the last in, few years. Bla- yeah. You know, yeah. I've seen more action figures of him. More action figures. He's kind of popping up here and there. Several appearances of him in the Gotham the TV show. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, you know, they were really trying to make, you know, that character just looks so cool, but they just haven't found the, a good the way person to... who can, who can crack that nut. Right. Yeah. Cause he's got a cool backstory. Great backstory. Um, and again, just visually, they just know, awesome. Uh, you know, quote Rob Liefeld, you know, comic books is a visual medium it first, uh-huh. you is. know? Uh-huh. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it, it needs to be done. And, but I mean, you, you, that's definitely a good setup for a sequel. Oh my you God. You know, um, in the court of owls of. Who are they again? So the Court of Owls is just kind of this, uh, um, you know, the the government behind the government. Okay. You, know, oh, okay. you know, just this like like society that's 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 you know turning things. Kind of the hand. Very much so, but like uh, you know, I mean, very very cool looking imagery. Yeah, dude. And then they have these uh, um, assassins that they call talons. That's what all those people were. Oh, yeah. And they they've got this technology that allows them like if you're a really good like assassin. Yeah. They they put you on ice basically. Oh, they keep yeah, you uh, just like for, throughout history. Yeah, yeah, like okay, we're gonna bring you back for this. Exactly. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm surprised they haven't gotten Red Hood yet. I know, right? But they've they've done some they've done some interesting things and uh, had some. Uh, uh, you know, I think I think it's uh, again. I think we talk about it on here all the time. I think they have like Jack the Ripper and, and stuff oh, like that's that. Great. You know, that's great. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be cool. You know, exciting. we've been wanting Court of Owl stuff. They started hinting at it yes. in in um in Arkham City or Arkham Knight, and uh, you know, it's just like the next logical step. It's it's something that uh, Scott Snyder like put together. Um, when he did the Batman, the new 52 yes, and it just, it caught, it caught like wildfire in all of these like recent reboots of, of the Batman series. That's the, it's been the best book. That's awesome. You know? Um, and the court of owls was such a major, like significant thing. My only problem is with it is like, apparently it's like a, um, that, that what we heard in the kind of background, it's like a nursery rhyme in Gotham, yeah. but we just like, I'm not familiar with it beforehand. I wish somebody would have the foresight to like start putting that stuff in like a cup, like a year or two before. Yeah, for sure, you know, just like just, just like maybe some kids like there. humming it on the street, yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. and, or like you know, just having Bruce Wayne like mention it. You yeah, know? you know, oh, I've you know, because even says in the comic, oh, I've like spent time looking into it, but I've never found anything. Right. It's like, well, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Bruce. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you know, this was in here. This Brucey. was not communicated to me. Come on, Brucio. <laughs> Um, so yeah, those were the two big video game announcements. You know, they were so good. They feel like movies. Yeah. I felt like we should talk about them, even though it's not really. Well, cinematically, our they are movies because yes. they, they move us. There's the story there. Yeah, yeah. And it's movies you can play. And no, I'm excited. I'm excited again for DC. Yes. Um, a lot of people get the um, idea that we are DC haters. We are not DC no. haters. It's just I, I I'm not going to say something's great when it's not great. Yes. Um, the movies have been lackluster for me. Yeah. Oh, completely. Um, completely. But I, I, that man is arguably my favorite comic mm-hmm. book character. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to bash a company yeah. that, that has my favorite. I want them to succeed. It, I it, want two giants where I can go, oh, I get my superhero fix, you yeah. know, six times a year, yeah. seven times a year, you know? Yeah. When DC does their thing right, they are that, you, you know, can't that, stop that anniversary dinner. You know, you only go once a year, and it's like it's 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 as good every time you go. Yeah, for sure. And then you know, uh, you know, t- to be to be honest, Marvel. It's like that food is, truck. Yeah, yeah. Marvel, <laughs> that good food truck. That good food truck. You know, it, it, it's pricey, and you're gonna you're not gonna get as much as you want, but but it is always pretty good. Yeah, they, you know, yeah. Um, I like that. I like that. Man. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. like you know. Uh, 
it's it's a filet mignon over there at DC. It so, is, man. So yeah, I, they are, and they I do are, hold like them to a standard. Dice. I do hold them to a, Me too. a different that's, standard. I think that's why I'm yeah. so hard on them. Yeah, it, it, because man, they're so good, and I just feel like they they get too they get too full of themselves. I think that's what happened with and the they, movies. Yes, yes, where they're just like, oh, we can do this because we can right. do this, and and they don't they don't give any care to for to, sure. Because I was thinking about it, like uh, most of my favorite villains are from DC. Oh, so completely. that again, I don't hate. I love lots of DC love here. Just. Lately, they haven't been giving me anything I want. Yeah, and they just, they don't meet even the, you know, like we talked about Yeah, the it. Cash fan. Yeah, and, and we talked about it in our, uh, before there was an MCU, like, we think that X-Men 2 is better than any Snyder versus DC film. Yes. So, I mean, we're talking about something that came out in 2003, mm-hmm. and... A, you know, it's just it. It shouldn't. It, right. it it should be blown out of the water for sure. And it's just not the only thing that's close is probably Aquaman. Right, Aquaman because Aquaman was so much fun. Yeah, but and then Wonder Woman too was great. Wonder Woman's great. Just yeah. a great perspective yeah. on it. And uh, again, I'm only speaking for the DC movies. I haven't watched any of the DC TV shows. Yeah, I've heard Batwoman's pretty good. They're, they're, they're I all, haven't watched it. They're all. Um, they're all. They're good. They're carbs. Yeah. You know they're okay. carbs. You know <laughs> they, you know you, you want them. Yeah. Uh, you don't feel as good later, yeah. but 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 you, you still want them for yeah. sure. It's a it's a handful of chips, and I right, dig yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's hitting all the points. Yeah, there you go. Um, did you see the Black Adam uh, kind of proof of concept trailer? Y- yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's just we all know it's going to have it's the gonna, problem yeah. of it being a lot like Scorpion King. It's like, dude, you did this. You you did. You know, my, my wife, who's a, a huge rock fan, she is. Um, but she's not really into wrestling. She, oh, she hates wrestling. But she loves The Rock. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember trying to talk to her. But you remember when he won it's wrest- be- uh, it's because WrestleMania? It's because yeah. <laughs> She's um, like, WrestleMania? <laughs> yeah. Dude, she went and watched, because uh, her one of her really good friends yeah. is a, uh, they're, uh, they're big into wrestling, mm-hmm. like the whole family. And yeah. the wife loves John Cena. Yes. So it was going to be a John Cena versus The Rock. Uh, yeah. <laughs> John Cena versus The Rock thing. And you got the banana weird. Um, oh, yeah. Hey. And uh, uh, so she got invited and she was yeah. really excited. And my wife's a trained martial artist, yes, lifelong, she'll kill you. and uh, you know she likes watching UFC, but she thinks that that even sometimes that's a little like they're being a little soft. No, oh, really being a little soft. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, when she went and watched this, she was like, "What is this? They're like not yeah. even hurting each other." Like she was, she was very disappointed. Yeah, think, maybe that's why she didn't like. Wrestling. I think The Rock came down a little bit when she saw him actually yeah. wrestle. But uh, it's a yeah, great wrestler, it just though. feels yeah. He's I mean he's the people's champ. Yes, right? no, he is. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think that it, it is going to suffer from. It's going to feel a lot like the Scorpion. That's what I was getting off of it because I, it's it's yes. him running out in the Black Adam costume, going Aku Mashinde. Oh, <laughs> we're going to get that. Yeah, one. we're going to no. Well, we're going to insert yeah. it. Oh yeah, we're going to insert it everywhere. <laughs> but I did like the kind of voiceover monologue yes. that, that he was saying, yes. and I liked how it feels really aggressive. Yeah, yeah. You know, because we're going to get him being like a, uh, you know, a really. It's a tyrant. I mean, anti-hero at best. At you know, best. In terms of, yeah, he's going to be... This a, might be the first movie. true villain movie we That'll get. be interesting. Because regardless, Joker's, not, Joker's an no. anti-hero for all intents and purposes. Because yeah. yeah. you, if you can sympathize with the character, he's either a hero or an anti-hero. Yeah. Villains are people you're not supposed to have sympathy for. In, in regards of you wanting them to succeed. Mm-hmm. You know, traditionally, but... Maybe this is going to be the thing that breaks the mold. We'll see. This is what I wanted with the the Magneto movie, in yeah. a way. But know? like, show me the rock in costume. Yes. You know, we've been talking. Like, I feel like we've been talking about this for like four, five, Longer. six Keep years. Yeah. You know, six something like years. that. And um, yeah, we just need. Um, oh, one of my beard hairs came off in there. It's gross. Um, we just need to get something more than like a drawing. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, like several so was drawings. Just... <laughs> the Rock say, "Do you, this is how you draw all your your French girls?" Oh, Jesus, yeah, man. <laughs> I, I, I just I need more at this point. Yeah, um, I need more Rock. Kind of the interesting and and, and I didn't see this coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, news is that they're talking about doing a Static Shock movie going into production. Okay, um, it's from Milestone Comics, mm-hmm. which was kind of like the I feel like it was like the Atlas Comics of Marvel, yeah. but but for DC. Um, and Static is probably the only character that really like stuck around. Like there, there were some other ones. I'm, I'm trying to forget who they're. Um, they, they had like a Black Superman type character. Mm. I can't remember his name. It might have been. Was Hat. it Black Superman? It wasn't Black <laughs> Superman. No, um, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on his name. It was something with two M's. Maybe Mother's name? Milk. No. <laughs> Oh my god, that's the fight I want. MM versus Superman. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, juiced yeah. MM. Juiced yeah, MM. Yeah, yeah. You, we got it. We got at least get Come a on. fight going. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't remember his name, but uh, Static actually made appearances in Justice League mm-hmm. cartoons, stuff like that. It is a fan favorite. You know, another, but again, another black character with electric powers. There's yeah, what's so up with that? I don't know. 
I don't like, get what, it. What's up with that? Yeah, Seriously. Black Lightning, Black yeah. Vul- Vulcan, uh, Thunder. But actually, I think Thunder, she actually um, um, makes herself dense. But she's the daughter of Black Lightning. So she went web by Thunder. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. And she, I think the, the, the sister is... Um, this might be lightning. I can't remember. Anyway, um, but yeah, Static Shock, that, that's yeah. cool. And it's, it's cool, funny because yeah. those books were like starting to heat up and now they're going to be untouchable for a little while. Yeah. But we need it. It's a good representation movie and I think it's something that can be uh, that can be really fun. It's just, we already have Black Lightning in a TV show. Yes. So uh-huh. does, can that be a movie? I don't know. But I, I, think, I think so. I think Reginald Hundlin is going to be the uh, heading it up. Okay. Um, former, I believe, I think he used to run the BET at one mm-hmm. point. He's written uh, many. No, that was somebody else. But anyway, he he, he was a writer. Uh, he's been a, a, a writer, especially in, in the black community for years. So he okay. awesome. um, did a lot of Black Panther stuff, oh, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm-hmm. man, I do think he has ties to the BET. I'll have to vet that. Oh, man. Sorry, um, one of your beer here is in here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that ain't mine. <laughs> <laughs> We've been sitting in my chair. Yeah, I know, man. Yeah, I'll sit in your chair when you're not here. Uh, I do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> I want him to know it. Um, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 again, DC, you got me peaked. Yeah. You got me peaked with my curiosity, and I'm excited for you. Well, we're, we're going to start hit, 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 hitting the deep in, in here in the middle. Okay. Snyder Cut. Mm-hmm. This pretentious... Kill Black the Justice White. League, right. No, yeah. Give me Kill the Justice League a million times over. Guys, if you saw that Snyder Cut thing and it made you excited, I am... Like, that's how low our bar is. That Snyder Cut trailer was garbage. It was garbage. It was garbage. Uh, I guess and it the was bar's pretentious. low for me because yeah. I thought it was pretty good. Because look, Boom, it, it, checked, go for it. it checked all the boxes. When we heard about this, we are like, you got to give me new... Is this just going to be a re... Like color palette change no we got legit straight up it looked like a different movie and that's what i was like okay if we can if it looks like a different movie i'm gonna go watch this and i'm gonna be excited for it it did look like a different movie so i i I will agree with you there it did look it did look different we got more miles dyson Mm -hmm. more miles dyson we need this yeah um but i don't know man it was a lot of stuff from like the teaser trailer that we got from the original justice kind of sure and just so, rendered a little bit yeah, more. Yeah. It, it, and using that Hallelujah cover. Yeah, that, Leonard Cohen. Well, you, it's, it's Leonard Cohen doing a cover of somebody. That's Le, yeah. that's Leonard Cohen singing. Okay. Which he already used in Watchmen. Yeah. Come on, dude. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like it, again, you're it's it's everything about it is just I know it's a rehash, but like you're you're not you're not even trying, I don't feel like and it it's oh. the wrong pace of the trailer. It lulled me to sleep. I, I was not excited wow. during that whole thing. Yeah, I was. Just, I was like, it, "When is this over?" Really? Yeah, dude. I thought it was. It was. Wow. Not, I don't think he picked the right music for that at all. Uh, just because he used it in Watchmen, that's why I wasn't a fan of it. Yeah. I, I could if had I not heard that in Watchmen, I think it would have been a good music choice. Yeah. Just because it's it, it's the coming together of the fans. This I is like the Hallelujah moment for the fans, dude. Well, that's what I think. I think. I, I think. And he's, that's why it's such I think a... he's standing on the top of something and being like, "It's coming." <laughs> And if we were at, if we were at Comic Con, he would have done yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, he just showed up in the Batmobile again because that's what he's about—is rehashing garbage. And I don't know, dude. I'm not that you needed to. You needed to get me there. You didn't get me there. I, I yeah. am on board. Yeah, um, it looks great. I'm to gonna me. watch it, but I'm not. I'm not oh yeah, just for the show. Yeah. If you didn't have this, I don't think you'd be watching. it. I wouldn't. I would take yeah. a hard stand on it, and I yeah, would go would. as long as I could without watching it. Yeah, Jeez. I know, and I know that's gonna skew my my view of it. I, and I can tell you guys, for real, I will be open to watching it. Right. I because I, I want to like the movie. I really do. Sure. But you keep giving me crap, and I don't care about it. Okay. So. I for me, the reason I'm more on board with it mm-hmm. is because this is this is his vision. We're actually going to actually legit see this is. This is Zack Snyder's movie. This is the one we were supposed to get, mm-hmm. and but though that it's now it has a higher pedestal to fall off of for me. Yes, yes. Because if it, if I got, you got me in Zack, you got me, you got me in the door. Yeah. See, yeah. I only have to go up now, so yeah, I can still exactly. go up. Yeah, yeah. I'm going down yeah. if it sucks. It'll be interesting if it flips. Like I really yeah. like Ooh, this Snyder yeah, Cut. Oh yeah, this is what we got. Okay, that'll be funny. Woo. Well, uh, they the news came out that uh, Ben Affleck is going to come back. As Batman um, in Flashpoint, so we're gonna or we're calling it Flashpoint. It has I don't think it's been given that. So in the Flash movie, um, we now have Keaton and we have yeah. Ben Affleck, yep. Batman. Um, Val, well, what are you doing? Yeah, Val. Yeah, I mean, let's do it all. Clunes, <laughs> the Clune Tang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Um, so that, that's interesting news. I saw an article today or a headline that was like Ben Affleck has demands to be in the Flash, so I still need to, to find out what those sure. demands are. Yeah, yeah. Um, he probably just wants like fresh, fresh hookers. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, BS. I wasn't with a hooker today. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I, I I like I'm I'm intrigued by the idea. Sure. To have two Batmans yeah. in there. Um, I don't. Do you, I, is, so I, is Michael Keaton for sure playing Batman, or is he gonna be doing Thomas Wayne? You see, I don't want him to be Thomas Wayne. You want him to be I'd, Batman. I'd love and in Big Tuna and I talked about this mm-hmm. for. Um, uh, JDM, uh, I guess I, I need to quit n- nicknaming everybody. Jeffrey Dean Morgan to also be in there, and it'd yeah. be cool if they both saw him. Oh, and they're yeah. like, Dad, oh my you know? God, that'd be yeah. so cool. Okay, now um, I want that. Yeah, but that's not going to happen. That's, that's the tuna cut. Right? The tuna, yeah. I want the tuna cut. <laughs> Give me the tuna cut. The, the tuna melt. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that was that was cool news. I'm, yes. I'm super excited about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then we get a double dip, and we get to go into another Suicide Squad thing. We actually saw like a quasi. They called it the the roll call, mm-hmm. um, and they did like a four or five minute spiel with like behind the scenes for Suicide Squad for oh, Sean Gunn's Suicide Squad. So we saw John Cena. Yes, we saw Margot Robbie. We saw uh, <laughs> Id- uh, Idris Elba. We saw all of these people, and they're kind of like talking about yeah. their characters. So yeah, dude, like. That was super exciting. Yes. Again, good music. You know, it has it it it's, mm-hmm. it has the Guardian Suicide Squad feel for sure. So it's gonna be good. I, yes. Oh, uh, completely. You know, uh, it, it, I'm not gonna lie. If this Snyder cut does well, I will be like, okay, let's let's see the air cut. Yeah. Like, if like, yeah. let's say this movie is like, okay, this is what we should have got. Yeah. Then you know, it's like, okay, air, give us what you got. Yeah. You know. You you guys know how I feel. But about does it, it weird precedent? Yeah. It does, but. If the ends justify the means, man. Yeah. What if this uh, director whose vision is just not out there, man? But what are you going to do if you you do that? It's good. And then, um, sorry, my energy came down because, man, that auction was so much fun. Yeah, it was, was, fun. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm going I'm 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 to jazz back up again. Um, no, it's – then are we going to have two separate – I mean – it would be interesting because then it's like two writers taking, you know, a writer taking over for another writer on a comic sure. and they're doing their version of it. But I just, I, I don't want it to spawn. Like if Sean, if, if James Gunn's movie is really good. Yes. We're, we're not going to have two separate Suicide Squad like franchises going. Right. You know, right, that's just not yeah, going to happen. Yeah, I know. But it was just funny like seeing like all of the people in the roll call and it was like, oh, this is everybody in Guardians but the Guardians. Yeah, yeah, you pretty know? much. Yeah. Like Dude. Michael Rooker's in it yeah. and Sean Gunn is in it. And Batista. And Batista. Um, oh, I guess there is one Guardian. I didn't even I didn't even think about because I didn't even see him in the in the in the footage. So yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it was cool. It, it, it got me excited. It got me excited. Did you like it? Yes. Yes, I I'm was. Excited. Uh, I'm excited, man. Yeah. Just because of James Gunn. Yes, and, of course. Uh, I'm a fan of the Suicide Squad. I know, man. Well, you know, we all are. I, we and, all are. It's just they uh, just keep uh, doing us uh, dirty. I don't, I don't like getting done dirty. I mean, I do, but, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> not, not when it comes to my movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah or not my books. Comes, or my kung fu. Right? Yeah, my kung fu. <laughs> um, Wonder Woman 84 yes. had a new trailer. Uh-huh. Um, I was quite excited for it's, it. I'm, I keep trying to... I, I want to quit saying um as much, but... Uh, it's just there. Um, God dang it, right there. I liked seeing more Maxwell Lord. Yes. I liked seeing more Chris Pine. Mm-hmm. Um, geez. And it was really fun to see. I, I My my big problem is I, I don't really feel like it's in the 80s until they blatantly tell me it's in the yeah, 80s. Yeah, and then they throw the music in there. They throw the music. Yeah, they throw the, put, the parachute pants. Yeah. What did you think of the cheetah reveal? Yes. Yes. I'm excited. <laughs> yes. You're one syllab you're you're monosyllabically answering me. I don't like it. I'm I'm, I'm expecting more from you. No, no, I I, I, I think Kristen Wig looked really Yes, cool. what I was getting at. Yeah. Yes. Uh yeah. Kristen Wig we fans. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Love her to she's death. Hilarious. Yeah. And um not gonna lie, a little skeptical when uh, she was casting them all. Yeah, yeah. Just because like, she's not known for her action pieces. No, no. Comedic timing is one thing, but, you know, kicking someone in the face, yeah. you know, is the different thing, you know? Uh, looks great, though. Yeah. I'm excited. I mean, I, I, again, DC... I mean, I knew she had action chops really as Vicky St. Helmo, okay? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Yeah, do, yeah. Do it to it or whatever. <laughs> Set to jet, McGruber. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I I do think that uh, it, I mean it didn't look fully rendered in no, parts. No, no, no. So, but I mean the movies again. The movie's been done for like two years. E, yeah. You know? Oh my god, I forgot and, that. And now the CG like, still yeah, didn't look kinda, yeah. super good. 
Um, but the the feel yeah. of it was good. The feel of it, was yeah, good. totally. You know, there was a good there was a good comedic element to it, and the uh, I just love Chris Pine. I feel like I don't get enough Chris Pine, but it's. Also, he's playing a lot of the same character too. Pretty much, and his quasi Steve Rogers is is is, is endearing, Captain but Kirk is... yeah, it's still is yeah, it's still the same. He's the captain in this movie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's he's flying he's flying planes and stuff. Yeah, it it, it seems interesting. I just want to see the Maxwell Lord character, who is yes. is part of the Justice League. Um, in the I believe in the nineties when they when they're like based out of Detroit, he's like their financier. Right, but right. He also has low level uh, telepathy. I wonder if they'll do that in the movie. Which I hope they do. It would be cool. It would be cool, but they're never going to link any of these movies, so I'm not going to get myself excited <laughs> anyway. Um, it did make me want to watch it more, but what I found was when I watched it with uh, friends of the show, uh, Casey Duke and Andy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ooh, Casey. Yeah. Oh, Casey. Um, they both had forgot that, like, that when they saw the scene where she's swinging on the lightning with mm-hmm. her rope, they're like, "Oh my god, that's cool!" I was like, "We already saw that. That's yeah. not a new scene. We'd already it. seen it in, in, yeah. in, a, in an earlier trailer." But they had both forgotten it. Oh, that's how long it had been since they'd seen the trailer. That was a long time ago. It was so, a long time ago, but it, it felt new to them. So, uh, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> kid- I don't know. It's cool. It was cool once, sure. But then when I saw it, when they re-showed it in the and trailer like, I was like this is kind of dumb lame. yeah, yeah it's kind of dumb, dumb. Like, yeah. I don't understand why swinging on lightning and Wonder Woman can fly yeah like, I don't understand what's happening I don't know it, no, no, I swing they, on lightning they didn't lose me but they didn't they didn't make me more excited for sure. the movie I, I'm with you I'm yeah. at that same level of excitement for it I, I'm stoked but I'm not more stoked our, I'm, uh, not, I'm not riding lightning. I'm not riding the lightning. Oh, yeah. God, <laughs> nice. Well done. No, I'm going to give you, give you a, little, a little bit of that. Yeah. I, I, too, was not riding said lightning. <laughs> Is that your favorite Metallica record? It's probably Master of Puppets. Yeah, me too. But but uh, Fade to Black is like it's great. is as good as anything on Master of Puppets, you know? Oh, man. Um, Metallica. Excellent. Um, the Batman. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one that I think arguably we're more con- most concerned with. Yes, we we've all been you know we're all kind of we're all kind of on board with the idea because I think the majority of people like Matt Reeves. Yes, uh, you know it's that image we weren't a big fan of. It felt a lot like Daredevil yeah. the image, yeah, yeah. Um, but the. Uh, the trailer, this was going to be the big in. This was going to be the reason to tune into Fandom. Yeah. I was working because I started work again, so I was in, I ended up catching these trailers uh, later on in the day. Yeah. Uh, but I loved this trailer. You did. This trailer blew me away, and I dare say has been my favorite Batman trailer that was just Batman. So Dark Knight, because of the Joker and everything, that was that that that, that takes the cake. Right. But like a a Batman one, which we have several uh, first time Batman movies, oh, basically, for sure. yeah, and, yeah. and I count those kind of next actors taking over as like their first Batman. Oh, totally. Movie. Yeah. Um, this was probably the best first Batman trailer I've seen. Yeah, the cut on it was amazing. It was so good. And yeah. it did it it still felt like Charlie Cox's Daredevil, but bit, I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with that too. And it's kind of and I and I think it's interesting because it's I think it's because his Batman voice is very much like the Daredevil voice yeah, yeah. and they're both British, right? Or yes. sometimes Oh no no no. Uh, what's his name? Charlie, British is he? Charlie Cox is, is No, he is. European. Yeah, but yeah, not but, Yeah, Pattinson is. Is he? Not? Yeah, Pattinson's from England, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's I not American. He... I know that. Okay. Yeah. Um, some he, kind of Spanish. Th- yeah. He... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some kind of Spanish. Um, no, yeah, I, I think I think he's British. I mean, he's in Harry Potter. You know, I don't think they cast any Americans in that in the original in the in the in the original That's Potter point. films. Yeah. Um, That's kind of racist. No, they they take place in England. That's like that's factual. They need, they need to uh, you know cast some Yanks. Yeah, well they got the they got the they got the old Yanks in uh, uh the um those other movies the the one about the the guy who's into the animals the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Oh, I think about Tiger King. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, this trailer was amazing. Yeah, it was uh, um, nitpick. Paul Dano? <laughs> no, love me some. Well, we, we didn't see his face, really. No, but we so heard he, his face. We heard I his heard face. His, I heard his stupid <laughs> face, okay? Uh, real quick, a even callback. They know, even they know to cover up that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. A callback to an uh, early episode. Uh, we are not fans of Paul Dano's face. Well, mostly this yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. He does not I, like he's a fantastic face. actor. It's not fair. Uh, that that I'm so hard on his face. I just think he's tough to look at. Okay, I think he's tough to look at, but I think he's an excellent actor. Yes, amazing. Everything he's in, he's awesome. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Elijah, 
um, uh, uh, Looper. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, he's a yeah, he's a fantastic actor. It's just yeah, I just I don't. It's, it's just I look at him. I'm happy that he's got work. You know? Me too. Yeah, you know what? That's awesome. Because it, he is excellent. He's excellent. He's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, nitpicking it though. Go, go, do, go, go for the nit. Um, I love my movies of the superhero genre to have, especially someone the caliber of Batman, to mm -hmm. have their own score. And um, I am not a fan of them using something in the way from Nirvana. I'm like, and I mm -hmm. literally said to myself out loud, "They're not really gonna. Oh, they yeah. are doing this. They're doing this." Yeah. That movie or that song has nothing to do with what they're putting on the screen. I disagree in terms of. If you the want tone to use the, the film. maybe if you're just going to use the instrumental mm -hmm. of something in the way, I get it. But I needed you, the lyrics. Yeah, why? I it has needed, nothing to do with the Batman. But the tone, yeah, I agree with you. But the tone of it, and and nine times out of ten, uh, Kurt Cobain was just mumbling with marbles anyway, and I like that. That sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll give you that. But it's oh come on, you it DC stop using other people's music and. Get, get Hans Zimmer to do his two note thing. It you did know? feel really nineties with that music. Sure, it, you yeah, know, like yeah, it yeah. felt it felt like I was watching a, a, a Crow Salvation trailer ooh, ooh. or City or the Crow City of Angels trailer. Yeah, there you go. That, that's what it felt. That's better. Like. Um, but um, maybe this does soundtrack. take place in the nineties. I don't know. I don't know if they want to time any of them anymore. Because now, because I think maybe, maybe they're trying to shoehorn uh, Todd Phillips's uh, or uh, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker into this. Yeah. So there maybe this take place in the nineties, and Joaquin would still be relatively young enough to fight Batman. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I again, I don't think they're gonna they're gonna try to time stamp it. Um, what did you think of the kind of? I mean, you know, there was all that talk about mm -hmm. the that Robert Pattinson wasn't gonna put on too much muscle right. and this and that. Mm -hmm. I kind of like the idea of the lean. Me too. Like the, the sleek, lean, more ninja because he's yeah, a ninja. Yeah, a little bit more more ninja y, and yeah. then uh, you know, because when you have jacked Bruce Wayne mm -hmm. out there doing stuff like. I feel like you can connect those dots quicker. Yeah, big time. Um, like, oh, wow. That's yeah, Batman. Right yeah, there. right? Yeah, look at him and all that money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I like this. He, he did seem a little emo, you know, a, a little, a little, a little My Chemical Romance, but it works. It yeah, does it, work. They actually finally showed us a Batman that puts the mascara yes, on I the eyes. Yes, I liked that. Like, oh, like, this is a different. Like, I didn't this, never this knew why they didn't roll with that in, in the other movies. Yeah, like, just the raccoon eyes. Yeah, yeah. that has to do it, yeah. you know? And, um... I'm glad they got, you know, I was a little concerned with Robert Batten, Pattinson, mm -hmm. um, but they legit got a real psycho to play Batman because yeah, he dude. is kind of a little crazy in real yeah. life. And that last shot of him with yeah. the makeup running and looking up, oh, I got chills looking at them. Like, oh yeah, there's Batman. And then that's that, that, and that Nirvana right song, I think, really works really well right there. I think the the the, the note, the tone of it. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not the lyrics so, or anything. It's just yeah. the sound of it yeah. is 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 pleasant. Yeah. Um, and it went with it. Uh, Paul Dano uh, feels like he's gonna be real creepy. I like the kind of. I've always wanted this like serial killer Riddler and Me it feels too. like that this is what this is going yep. to be. I wonder if they're going to bait and switch us and it's going to be like a hush thing because obviously that look have a that hush he feel had, to it. it had more of a hush feel to yeah, me than it had yeah. um, Riddler feel oh except God, for the did. fact that he was doing riddles. Yeah. Um, and the Catwoman was weird. Kind of like the way that it was like a cut. Like It looked like cat. Frank Miller's Catwoman. It did. Wow. Yeah, it did look a yeah, lot like Frank Miller's It was like almost an like homage to it. Yeah. Um, no, but I, think the, a, I bet you that's exactly what they did. I, I think this is a, like year one Batman almost in a it way, right? Like it, yeah, Something it feels in, like it. Maybe year two because like the commissioner, which Jeffrey mm, Wright, that was yeah. awesome. Mm. Uh, people's man. <laughs> yeah. Um, I liked seeing uh, that you know, he already has a relationship with Batman. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but like I said, it did sound so much like uh, Charlie Cox's Daredevil, Daredevil. which is okay yeah. because that it, it, there's no there's nothing wrong with that there because that, with, that was it, yeah. so influential. Yeah, talk about a, a TV show that felt like a movie, and and we had cinematically a, we had a small bait and switch when he's I mean beating the hell out of that that, yeah. that gangster yeah. or whatever. And it didn't even look super. Co it looked like a like a, a fight. beating, like yeah, a straight up yeah. beat down. Yeah, not a, like we're gonna do some wire foo here. No, yeah. Batman's just clobbering this person yeah there was a comment and it was like dang batman didn't even give him a chance to feel that broken arm <laughs> <laughs> and, awesome. and then they kind of bait and switch and they're yeah. like who are you and he says i'm vengeance yeah oh that's the first time and that's almost to me a call back to the show like yeah. i am the knight yeah i am vengeance. oh gosh that, man. yeah that was it was superb yeah it was too. super that's how you I, the yeah all of this stuff was really you know there, there were some highs and some lows but but mostly highs mostly highs. they took a swing 
And I, they, I, 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 I think they did good. You know, maybe it's not a home run uh, of a of a replacement for 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 their Comic Con stuff, but it's definitely like the the bases were loaded. You, you got to. I think there. they used COVID to their advantage. Yeah. Um, by doing their own thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they they were able to save some money with the layoffs, mm-hmm. and they were able to do yeah. all of this stuff. Yeah. Exactly. You know? They kept it self contained because, yeah. I mean, that San Diego. We had more to talk about this. Yeah. Than we did at San Diego at uh, the Comic Con at home. Yes. There was nothing. There was nothing yeah. there, man. There was nothing that moved the needle like this. No. This, this was powerful. This, this got me excited. Has Hasbro stuff kind of owned Comic Con yeah, for yeah, us, yeah, totally. and then and the, then the, this the, this was this was very strong. Exactly. Um, this was a good good step in the right direction. Um, I was talking to somebody on Instagram, and and you know we were talking about how how excited we were. I was like, yeah, but. I've been hurt before by DC, <laughs> so I'm still going to try to temper my expectations sure. and hopefully, like the um, you know, uh, you know Snyder cut, mm-hmm. I, I I can only go up. Yeah, you know? I'm going down on that. Yeah, Wait, I'm falling yeah. down on that. Falling one. down, going up. We're going sideways again, east to west, baby. And kids, that's our show. If you like what we're doing, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, tell your friends about the show. Uh, help us get some of those subscribers up, guys. We, we want to make some good content and for you guys. we did. Thank you. Yes, we are up and over 100. Thank you guys so mm, much. You're amazing. It is very important um, for us to to move forward yes. and, and to make better stuff for oh, you yeah. guys. We got some stuff. Um, Eric, do you have any... Uh, uh, I, you know what? Thoughts, I man. mean, this was straight up, this, this was, was a good great, night. This was a good night, dude. We're, go, we're going on about we five hours night. for the, yeah, for the we show. We are the vengeance. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're getting those subs with a vengeance, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, I think DZ is coming back swinging, man. Yeah. I really do. I think you that know, they're, they're, they're using they, the COVID don't right. Don't call it a comeback, man. <laughs> yeah, they have been here for years. Exactly. <laughs> Microphone fears, suckers and tears, or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Kids, I have been your host, Roman Chavez. I'm still Eric Icarus. Oh, and we will catch you on the next podcast. <laughs>